Oh, California, the land of the sun, the surf, and the beaches. Also home to some of the most expensive mansions in the United States of America. I mean, California alone has eight of the richest cities in the U.S. and contains some of the most coveted zip codes around. So let's take a look at some of the incredibly expensive mansions California has to offer. And please, try and act a little surprised when it turns out most of them are in Bel Air. Number 5. 924 Bel Air Road. $150 million. Aptly named Billionaire, this incredibly expensive Bel Air mega mansion has had a bit of history in the area. It was originally owned by famous actress and singer Judy Garland back in 1967 and was later acquired by renowned developer Bruce Makowski in 2012 for $7.9 million. So how did a house go from $7.9 million to $150 million in about a decade? I mean, the economy isn't that bad, right? Well, Bruce Makowski isn't renowned for nothing. He went to work redesigning this mansion, a process that took four years, 250 workers, and led to selling it for $150 million. So what did Mikowski do to earn such a massive asking price? Well, he did quite a lot, let me tell you. The mansion comes with about $30 million worth of luxury vehicles, 12 cars, and 10 motorcycles, among which include a $15 million Von Krieger 1937 Mercedes, a $2 million Pagani Huayra, and a $260,000 Ferrari 488. The mansion comes with a mix of classic classic cars, modern cars, motorcycles, and a helicopter as well. Really trying to give you your money's worth with this mansion. Although to be fair, the helicopter is just a prop, but it does make your roof look mighty cool. The mansion also features a four-lane bowling alley, pool tables, foosball tables, and a ping pong table, all custom built and made of glass. There's also a massive $2 million screening room in the mansion, equipped with 40 handcrafted leather reclining seats, a 22-foot screen, and an amazing sound system. All already preloaded with 7,000 movies. Plus, it comes with its own candy dispensary. And if you still somehow manage to get bored in this mansion, there's still more on offer. There's a lounge area on the outside of the mansion, with lots of chairs perfect for chilling and catching a bit of sun, all sat in front of a massive infinity pool. And hidden behind this pool is one of the largest residential televisions in the world. It's 30 feet wide and is placed at the end of the pool, overlooking the neighborhood. Not only providing you with outdoor entertainment, but a stunning view as well. If you can pay attention to what's behind the massive TV, that is. Number 4. The Manor. $160 million. Also known as the Spelling Manor, for SEO reasons, it's located in the Holmby Hills area of Los Angeles. It was constructed back in 1988 for TV producer Aaron Spelling and is the largest mansion in the entire Los Angeles County, which explains why they just call it The Manor, doesn't it? The interior of this mansion is quite gorgeous and certainly fit for the royalty these architects must of thought commissioned this building. Its exquisite marble flooring, crystal chandelier, and its conspicuous grand twin butterfly staircase is the sort of classical design that just screams luxury. It's got a floor area of 56,500 square feet of space, a total of 132 rooms, which include 35 bathrooms, 14 bedrooms, and 16 guest rooms. The large master bedroom comes with an equally huge bathroom, fully equipped with a soaking tub and a wall-length vanity mirror, where you can admire yourself in all all your glory after your morning routine of dropping the kids off in the pool. This massive mega mansion, unsurprisingly, comes with plenty of amenities as well. We're talking about a bowling alley, a hair salon, a spa, an in-house movie theater, and its very own nightclub on the property. The mansion was owned by Petra Ecclestone, heiress and daughter of Formula One racing magnate Bernie Ecclestone, before which the mansion was on the market for $150 million, making it the most expensive real estate listing in the U.S. at the time. Stick around, though because trust me, it gets a lot more expensive. Number 3. 67 Beverly Park Court $165 million Owned by Hungarian-American billionaire Steven Udvarházy, this mansion is also known as Villa Firenze, named after the capital city of Tuscany. Because if you can't live in the Mediterranean, might as well bring it home to you. This Mediterranean Italian-styled mansion was built back in 1998 and is situated on more than five acres of land. The mansion occupies 28,660 square feet of living space. It features eight bedrooms and a 11 bathrooms. Seeing as how this is a mansion in Beverly Hills, you know it comes with a lot more than just that. There are two guest houses on the property, and a pool house, a tennis court, grottos, an orchard, and of course, party patios. Accessed through its own street, this amazing mansion took over seven years to build, time well spent putting the final touches of luxury on this property. From the 30-car courtyard, surrounded by 40-foot-tall Canary Island palms, 
the architectural designs that give it the feel of an authentic Italian palazzo. The look of the place alone is almost worth the money, but the high ceilings, large gathering areas, five-plus acre backyard, and the jogging trail that surrounds the estate sure are nice bonuses. The owner of this mansion, Stephen Udvarhazi, is worth about $4.1 billion. He's owned the place since the 90s, but now that the children have moved out, he's looking to move somewhere a bit more modest. I, however, would not recommend the next couple entries on this list, though. Number 2. Chartwell Estate – $195 million Surprise, surprise, this one's in Bel Air as well. However, this breathtaking piece of architectural history doesn't just express the modern luxury of Bel Air, but stands as a relic of its ritzy past as well. The Chartwell Estate was built way back in 1933 for engineer Lynn Atkinson and was designed by prolific architect Summer Spaulding. Over the decades, the mansion has been owned by Arnold Kirkaby and billionaire Jerry Parencio. It even had a role on TV back in the 60s. You simply can't talk Bel Air luxury without mentioning the Chartwell Estate. So is this estate just as impressive? on paper as it is in real life? Well, let's see why don't we. The Chartwell Estate spreads across 10.4 acres of land. The main building that sits in the middle of this estate is an 18th century style French chateau-esque mansion, pristine and picturesque enough for French peasants to storm into. The mansion spans over 25,000 square feet of space. It has 11 bedrooms and 18 bathrooms, and an interior that would attract even the most pompous of nobles. This probably has nothing to do with why billionaire media mogul Lachlan Murdoch bought the mansion back in 2019, making it the most expensive property sale in Los Angeles. Many a party have been held in this mansion since its construction, and there are many more left to go. I mean, the mansion might as well have been built for soirees. It's got a wine cellar capable of holding 12,000 bottles, enough to keep a party going for several weeks, an exquisite private garden perfect for the most uptight of wine-tasting parties, and a 75-foot swimming pool because the architects knew exactly what they were doing when they built this place. The property also includes a 5,700 square foot guest house that comes fully equipped with two bedrooms and three bathrooms. Perfect for the visitors who definitely wouldn't want to leave after stepping into this estate. And to top it off, there are a series of underground tunnels that run the length of the property. Great for those speedy getaways, but for an even speedier getaway, there's also a grassy helipad. The interior is filled with antique European furniture and designs, really tying the 18th century feel together. The massive dining room seats 18 people and feels like a room right out of a historical drama, with its antiques and paneled walls dating back to the 1700s imported from Europe. There's a billiard room under the main residence, an entertainment room, and a stage with a grand piano waiting for a performance. Performance. Legend has it, the late Italian opera singer Luciano Pavarotti would often visit the Chartwell estate, perform, rest at the guest house, and even practice his singing in the subterranean tunnels. Why? Because the acoustics must have been wonderful. Number 1. The One – $340 million Number 1 on this list isn't just the most expensive mansion in California. It also doubles as the largest mansion, not just in the United States, but the entire world. Hence its very appropriate name, The One. The mansion is the brainchild of famed architect Paul McLean and interior designer Catherine Rotondi, owned and developed by film producer Niall Niami. And it took them eight years and 600 workers to finally construct this behemoth of a mansion. The mansion manages to fit on five acres of land in, you guessed it, Bel Air. Because where else would it be? This mansion covers over 100,000 square feet of space. Which begs the question, is there such a thing as too much floor space? It's got 20 bedrooms, 30 bathrooms, two massive dining rooms, a kitchen that puts restaurants to shame, and a garage that holds 30 cars. But that's just the regular stuff. You haven't really built a mansion unless it's so fun you never want to leave. On that note, this mansion comes with a wine cellar capable of holding more than 10,000 bottles, a bowling alley, five swimming pools in case you get lost looking for where to take a dip, a movie theater capable of holding 36 people, a large casino, and its very own nightclub. There's also a techno gym filled with every equipment you could need for a home workout. Even though walking around this massive mansion should be exercise enough, a 10,000-foot sky deck, and a philanthropy wing capable of holding 200 people, perfect for charity galas or luxury cocktail parties straight out of a spy flick. Calling the design of this mansion top-notch almost feels redundant. It was built to be the be-all and end-all of mansions everywhere. It's got a nice touch of minimalist design, employs a healthy amount of marble, as well as see-through glass, to make the mansion feel even bigger than it already is. And to top it all off, an amazing view of the Los Angeles skyline and the majestic San Gabriel Mountains. Plus, you get to scream, I'm the king of the world. 
Honestly, who here is surprised California mansions aren't just expensive, but some of the largest and most luxurious homes in the world? And if you are surprised, I recommend you check out some more of our videos. So what do you think about California mansions? Know somewhere even more luxurious? Please let us know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, do leave us a like.